Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Very quick uh, video on this one hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, which has a good chain uh, reported by Abu Yala. Some others have said that this is a Sahih hadith. Um, Abu Hurair radiyallahu anhu reports that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, said, "O people, ya ayuhan nas, O people, inna al ghina laysa an kathrat al arb." He said that. Richness is not that you get an, a great expansion of wealth or you have so much that's around you. That's not what makes you rich. He then said, وَلَكِنَّ الْغِنَى غِنَى النَّفْسِ He said that richness is when, you're, when, you, when your ego is independent from, from asking for more or wanting more. When you feel rich inside, then, then you're rich. Now this is, this is subhanAllah, this, this is wonderful. Because if you really think about it, rich people uh, can't get enough. They want more and more, which actually makes them poor. But poor people, if they feel content with what Allah has given them, they are actually rich because they don't have that urge to have more and more. Okay? Then he said, وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ عَزَّ وَجَلْ يُؤْتِي عَبْدَهُ مَا كُتِبَ لَهُ مِنَ الرِّزْقِ And Allah Azza wa Jal will give his servant whatever has been written for him in terms of his risk. So whatever is written for you is going to be yours. I, I don't understand how people just go crazy in trying to get, you know, trying to go after this world and get more and more because I, I know we have to work for our money. I know we have to get up, get up and do something. That's fine. But don't go crazy because the Prophet ﷺ then says, فَأَجْمِلُوا فِي الطَّلَبِ He said, be, you know, have a beautiful way of trying to acquire what's written for you that means you know take it easy you know be, be in between don't don't go don't go sort of crazy in trying to acquire wealth and do you know make you know um s silly hours in terms of working and trying to go for one deal after another deal after another deal and, and you really you haven't got the balance and then he said ma halla wa ma haruma. he said take whatever is halal and leave whatever is haram okay so you know there's people who go so crazy that they'll they'll mix the halal and haram in trying to get their get their risk and there's all sorts of things people are doing you know in terms of online trading and you know quick deals here and there just to get things for themselves and the prophet sallallahu has, has told us that whatever is whatever is written for you is yours so be good in how you how you try and acquire it you can't get something that's not written for you and if you get something which is not halal for you it's going to be a burden on you okay so this is the hadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam reported by abu yala it's it's a chain is a good chain inshallah and some have actually said that it's a sahih hadith